Hi everybody, today I'm going to be explaining on a very basic level what a modular synthesizer is. So first and foremost, it is an instrument that is primarily used to generate or manipulate sounds. And it's made up of a bunch of different components, which I'm going to split down into three categories. First of all, modules. Second, the case and the power. And third, the cables and what they do. So we're going to start with the modules, and this is where the whole modular phrase comes from. Each modular synth is built from a number of different modules, which all have their own function. It's kind of like guitar effects pedals, if you've ever used one of those. So you might have a distortion pedal, which makes the sound all crunchy and gritty. And you might have a delay pedal, which will create copies of the sound. And like a reverb pedal, um, which makes the sound appear as if it's coming from different spaces and then you plug that into an amp and then you're good to go. So it's a very similar concept but whereas with guitar pedals you have the guitar making the sound at the beginning, here you have modules which make the sound. So like oscillators, that's primarily what you're going to have, uh, but you can also get modules which play back sounds that you've already recorded. So I could go out with my field recorder and um, record sounds from outside, birds, water, um, instruments, and then you put them on an SD card, put the SD card into the module, and you can use those sounds as well. So it's very flexible. You can also get modules like this one from Dotfa, which allow you to plug in guitars or microphones or any of that kind of thing. So you can also use them as a sound source. So you could, if you wanted to, use a modular synth like a big pedal board for your guitar. but most often you're going to see oscillators, and there are many different kinds of oscillators. They all have different sounds, they all generate different kinds of sound waves, um, which gives them their own distinct kind of flavour. And these are kind of, very often, the first real building block in a modular synth. And then you pass that sound onto something else, often a filter, which cuts out or affects certain frequencies and other different effects again like the distortion, the delay, the reverb, all that kind of stuff. So one of the biggest selling points of modular synths is that there is a massive range of modules available um, manufactured all the way from companies down to guys in their garage just doing it on the side. So you get a really wide range of features available to you um, and you can pick and choose exactly what you want to build your own kind of perfect synthesizer. So you've got your modules, now what do you do with them? You've got to put them in a case and you've got to give them power. What I've got here is a case which has the power supplies built into them. Now these modules that we're looking at here are part of what's called the Eurorack format. So they are all the same height and they are measured in units of width. Um, so that enables people to understand how many modules they can fit in their case, which is very important. And crucially, they all have to abide by the same power standards. So that means you can all plug them into the same power supply and they'll work together. So how do you make the modules work together? Well, this brings me on to the third category, which is cables. Um, these are my favorite little pink ones here, but they come in a whole range of different lengths and colors, as you can see. Um, and these are really crucial. These enable you to pass sound, much like a guitar cable, from one module to the other. So this means you can take the sound that you have, pass it to an effect module, and then pass it out to your speakers. But not only that, these cables allow you to pass electricity between each of the modules. And this electricity can be used to control the parameters. So instead of having to use the buttons and the knobs on the front of the modules, you can use electricity. And there are many, many modules which their main job is just to generate this electricity. It's not to make sound or affect it in any way, it's to make control signals. And we call these control signals control voltage. And one of the first questions that I get when I'm talking to people about modular synths is how do you control it? How do you make notes? Like where's the keyboard? And the answer to this is very often we're using control voltage instead. So there are many different modules which allow you to generate or sequence different pitches and therefore you don't have to play them out on a keyboard. So what's great about control voltage is because it's just electricity and all of the modules are using the same standard, you can basically plug the cables into any little hole that you want to, and you can control anything with anything. So that makes it really, really flexible and really fun to just play about with. That's why I enjoy it personally, because I feel like it's a very kind of exploratory way of making music, and you can just 
kind of zone out and plug things in and think, okay, yeah, what if I want to plug that into that and then see what it sounds like? So I hope this has helped you to understand a bit more about what modular synthesizers are. And um, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I'll also leave some extra resources in the description. There's a really good one by the Red Bull Music Academy, which has these 3D models that you can interact with. So I hope that helped. And if you want to see more videos about modular synths and actually see them in action, then stay tuned and I'll see you later. Bye.